Well, damn. It was like it was like the world is coming to an end. It's been like it's been crazy. It's uncomfortable, right? This feel it feels uncomfortable. It just doesn't feel right. But you know what's you know what's you know what's actually uncomfortable? Um, having a mild panic attack anytime you get pulled over by the police, like wondering is this is this police officer who's walking to my car now the last person I'm gonna see because I'm not sure if he's gonna be a just police officer. I'm not sure if he's a corrupt police officer. I'm not sure if he has my best interest at heart. I'm not sure if he actually is gonna serve and protect. I'm not sure if some someone's feelings are gonna be hurt and someone's emotions are gonna be riled up and I'm just gonna end up in me losing my life. That that that's uncomfortable. I mean, we all we all know what happened. We've seen the news. George Floyd lost his life to the hands of a police officer who has had a history of abusing power and people people are mad. People are out in the streets, breaking shit, screaming at the top of their lungs, simply because they don't feel like people are listening. And if you're saying to yourself, ah, it's probably not the most effective way to get a point across to people, right? Maybe a little peaceful process. Maybe let's all hold hands and sing Kumbaya. Well, you see this footage that I'm showing you here? That is not the, uh, that's not the George Floyd protest. That is indeed the Eric Garner protest in 2014. You see, we've been, uh, people who look like me have been doing this thing for time. We've been shouting at the top of our lungs that we don't want to get killed, that we would like not to be killed by police officers who are taking us into custody, but it seems as though uh, people aren't listening. We're in pain. We're, sh we're shouting, we're screaming at the top of our voices, we're breaking shit so that the whole world can listen and hear that we do not want to be killed. We just want to go about our lives and live the... <sighs> I want you to understand that rioting is not the problem. Rioting is a symptom of the issue. I was, I was having a conversation with a friend and I was relaying them things that my dad says to me every single time he speaks to me. I want you to understand that I'm a 26-year-old man, very capable of protecting himself, but my dad gets uncomfortable any time I leave my house. Make sure you check in with your friends. Make sure that you're safe. Make sure that you're looking out for yourselves. Ask yourself, you as a grown person, how frequently do your parents ask you this question? It's simply because I fit the description of someone who could easily be stopped by police and have their lives ended at a certain point. Everybody's, everybody's uncomfortable. Everybody's like, okay. I'm covering my hair because I got a bum ass haircut, but what do I do? You've posted your black square on Instagram. Everybody knows I'm not racist now. What can I do? Firstly, I want you to be comfortable with getting it wrong. The whole process of educating yourself on this issue is a learning process, and you can't learn without failing. Because my livelihood is, is tied to this, to this platform, it's easy for me to get uncomfortable and say, hey, I'm just gonna sit back, man. I don't need to do any of this, man. I don't, I don't got to do this, like, <laughs> it's cool, like, right? Hey, guys, just post a little black square. That's, that's, um, unfortunately, that's not gonna be sufficient enough to ensure that I have a future on this planet Earth. So here is what you can do. You can donate to organizations literally on the front lines of this situation so that you can actually make an impact. You can donate to the George Floyd Memorial Fund. You can donate to the Minnesota Freedom Fund. If you're not comfortable making a stir up on your Instagram, at least you can make a monetary change so that there's, there's good coming from this situation. And we're cementing a future where black men are not the target for racial injustices like this. You can call the district attorney, Mike Freeman, and demand justice for George Floyd, the man that was killed. You can literally call the Minnesota office and let them know your, your opinion on this situation. There's so many petitions on change.org that you can sign to signify your support for this movement. I think in today's day and age, it's, it's, it's not enough to not be racist. We have to figure out a world where we are anti-racist. It's not just okay to stand back and let this situation unfold because you're okay with yourself not hating other people of color. Like, I know that we live in a situation where me and hopefully you are not racist, but you have to be in a situation where you are anti-racist. Understanding the nuances in America that make people who look like me less likely to thrive. I mean, there's so many instances of people protesting in the streets, trying to get their voices known, and police officers abusing their power, mowing down people. If you, I'm sure you've seen that video in New York of the police car literally mowing down people in the streets. There needs to be a situation where we can account for the negative actions of the police in our society. 
I think it's important for us to know that the people who we know that we're putting in power have our best interests at heart. We need to vote. I want to close this off with a couple of positives. As human beings, it's, it's, it's easy for us to dwell on the negative and to dwell on the situations that are detrimental, that are bringing us down. But there's images that surfaced of people in Minnesota cleaning up their neighborhoods and cleaning, putting their neighborhoods back together because at the end of the day, life has to go on. Man, this shit is heavy, man. This shit is, this is heavy. It's like 2020 just ain't it, man. It's like, who the hell thought 2020 was a good idea? Let's wrap this shit up. Let's, let's end this. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with 2020, man. What the hell? All right. Uh, that, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll, I'll see you on the, on the next one. Peace.